Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Coach Richard Carter of Lynette High School, the 2017 and 2016 Class 2A state champions. Coach, make the opening comments, and then we'll open up for questions. Thank you, Ron. First of all, we want to just give praises to God for allowing us to get back here, just to get back here. Uh, I've been doing this for 46 years, and a lot of people don't realize how hard it is to get back here, just to play. Uh, I go way back to when they were taking the, the last eight teams standing, and we were playing at Alabama and Auburn, and, uh, and then it went to the Final Four, and it's, it's a difficult task. And uh, you saw how good and how difficult it was to repeat today. Uh, hats off to R.C. Hatch and Coach Davis for a job well done. Uh, last year we embarrassed them in the regionals, and they came to fight today. And uh, hey, we, I think the good Lord, we probably had a little bit more fight in us than they did. And uh, thank you much. Question for coach or player. Coach, it was a it was a two point game at the end of the third quarter. Um, for you, what did you see in the fourth from your guys that? Uh, well, I, I simply said to them, uh, going back out, eight more minutes, and we're going to be state champions. And I simply asked them, Do you want it? And they said, Yes, we do. And uh, they went back out and they, they played defense, turned the ball over, and uh, we ran the floor real well in that fourth quarter, and I think that made a difference. Uh, last year it was something like a 30-point game um, that you guys won in the state final. Did you know it was going to be a different type of game this year? I did. Uh, uh, I, 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 the one reason I knew, because they had been saying uh, that uh, they wanted to black and go. And, uh, and knowing that program, knowing the people from Perry County, uh, as I said earlier, we embarrassed them last year. They don't like to be embarrassed. They don't like to be embarrassed. And I knew they were going to come and give us their best shot, their very best shot, and they did. Questions? Guys, particularly uh, you two, it looked like you had a in your mindset in the fourth quarter to get it down low and, and get it in. Just talk about what Coach said and how y'all responded to that in the fourth quarter. Um, <clears throat> um, well, I saw that we had like an um, advantage of them because like we were so tall and they didn't have any big men. And plus, I saw that most of their big men was in foul trouble. So I just told Coach that we had to just go inside and paint inside, and we did. Uh oh. When we step on the court, us two as big men, both of us feel like we can't be stopped. Can't nobody stop us. I don't care if you're six eleven, seven one, or five nine. We feel like we can't be stopped. So when the game came down to a tough spot, we told coach, bring it down low, and we know we were going to get points for sure. And that's what coach did. And we got rebounds, capitalized off offense rebounds and defensive rebounds, and played tough defense, and that got us the win. Other questions? Coach, that's an 11 game run to the state championship. What did the, the uh, when it was tight late in the game, he made some big defensive plays. Uh, Christian Story made some big plays. But what's the difference when, in the past? Uh, last year you won a state championship. This is number two. That confidence late that you knew you still could pull a game out. How much did that mean today? Oh, man, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's enormous. It's enormous knowing that, uh, first of all, I, I know – that as long as I got these two big guys right here on my side, we, they're going to take care of business. And I could just see uh, going down the stretch, especially in Pollard, I could see the expression on his face uh, to the point where he, he said, I want the ball, I want to win this basketball game. And, and, and one thing about he and Manny both, when it's on the line, if it's a, when that ball goes up for rebounding, especially in close situations, they're going to go get it. And they went and got it today. And, and, and let me say this. I want to compliment Manny, especially today. Uh, uh, last night he, he went to bed early fl fighting the flu, uh, got up this morning. We, we put Theraflu in him last night and some other stuff. And, he's just, and then yesterday in our shoot-around, he got hurt his shoulder. And to come out here and play the way he did today, and you might have seen him open his mouth real wide, gasping for breath. And uh, and we want to bring in Dobbs, and uh, which is one of our young sophomores that's six eight. Uh, but they said, "No, coach, let, let let me play, let me play." And I want to really compliment him for for a job well done, fighting through today. Other questions, players or coach? Jalen, what does it mean? Can you just talk about what it means to repeat and win that championship? <laughs> I'm speechless. It just it feels great. 
it's a great feeling to be the only team in the county to ever repeat. And we just very blessed. Yes, we are. Other questions? Coach, I think you've only got two seniors. I think Jalen and, and Trey Story. Uh, I know that's a fitting way for them to go out with back-to-back -back state championships. Both have been standout players in football as well. And just a couple of comments on, on Jalen and, uh, and uh, Trey Story. Well, uh, last year we lost Tavares Geiger, and, uh, which was our point guard. And I, I said, Lord, how are we going to replace him? But these two young men stepped right in, and they, they just took over and took charge. And uh, JT and I, had, we have a special bond. And the special bond is I always I got to stay on him. I, I I mean every day, all day, and uh, but but then I love him. I, I love him because there's one thing for sure about him. When he steps on the court, it's two hundred percent. I mean he's gonna fight, fight, fight. Sometimes he's guarding guys at six two, six three, but it doesn't matter. He just give you all he's got. Trey Story is a tremendous young man. Uh, not only is Trey Story an All-American, he's an academic All-American. He, he's, he's, he's a wonderful young man. His dad is our hit AD and head football coach. Uh, and uh, we love him to death. Uh, and uh, he, he has been our leader this year. Now, now uh, next year, uh, Pollard and Littles, they'll be seniors. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, y'all be the only two seniors, right? Next year. I, so I can, yeah, they'll be the only two seniors. Come oh, and tie. That's right, and tie. They'll be. We'll have three seniors next year. Uh, but uh, the good Lord has blessed us, and we got two six eight ninth graders. <laughs> now it's two six eight ninth graders and a six five ninth grader, and uh, that's that's just ready to roll. Got a group of good guards. We're gonna work real hard this summer uh, because our goal is to three peat. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, congratulations. Thank I'm sure. Oh, you got one more? Okay. Y'all want some one on ones over across the hall? Okay. For the players, what do y'all remember about the celebration last year when you got home, and what definite, <laughs> definite ideas do y'all have to improve upon it this year? When we get home, <laughs> we're going to celebrate it up. <laughs> Two times in a row. Man. We might be celebrating for the next three months until the summer, next, to next school year. I mean, we can't celebrate enough to celebrate a, two times in a row. But as far as celebrating, we're going to get back in the gym and get right and get better so we can come back next year and try to do the same thing. Coach, Coach let, let, let me, can I say this? The, these young men are all academic. I'm talking about, I mean, they are not just basketball players. They are academic players. Man is a 4.0 average or so. And, Pollard is right behind him, and they've all made high, uh, high ACT scores, and and uh, we they they're not just basketball players; they're 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 acad academicians, I guess that's word, <laughs> if that's such a word. Well, coach, congratulations on a fine championship, and there's going to be some interviews of the TV. Wants to get y'all across in that room, right across for one on ones, and then we're going to bring RC Hatch in here. Thank, Thank you all so much. Yes, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank you. To God be the glory to be able to get this far. These. Uh, our players played their hearts out. I want to make sure that they know that I love them. And then uh, we had a great season. I told them, when anything to hold their head down is for, because they played their hearts out. A uh, good team like Lynette, uh, Coach Carter, and his coaching staff did a great job. Uh, I was telling the guys in the locker room that anytime – that you playing a good team, they get a run on you right at the end of the game, it's going to be hard to come back because they know how to close games out. But I told them that we love them, our fans love them, and uh, the seven seniors that be graduating, I told them that they must be able to go, they got to go to college, they got to go to uh, get a trade, or they have to go to the armed forces. They have to do one of those three. Now, that's, the way, that's what we tell all our players so they can be in a better position and take care of family one day. Not going not to play basketball all your life. You want to prepare them for the future and teach them life skills. Question for coach or players? Coach, it was so tight all the way through there until that, that fourth quarter, and it looked like they were just made an effort to get the – 
get it to the big guys. What did you see in the fourth quarter that you thought made a difference? Uh, fourth quarter, he was holding the ball out, and we had to change the defense. We had to go after them. And then got a few backdoor plays, and then um, uh, we missed a few shots here, a few shots there, and the game was out of reach. Other questions? Here we go, Justin. Coach, how tough is it? You you reach the state championship game and just to fall short. Just kind of how difficult is it to make it this far but not come home with the, with the prize? Well, as I stated earlier, it's a blessing just to be here. Don't you know, uh, a lot of coaches in the entire career don't get a chance to make it to the state tournament. And then we uh, made it um, 06, 07, 08, 09, and then we back in uh, 2017, um, that's a blessing just to get here. And uh, they did what it took. Uh, we had 17, not one of them made it. So I'm, I'm just happy just to be here, to be able to compete again against great teams like uh, 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 Lynette. One thing you might make note of, R.C. Hatch has won more state championships than any other school, boys team program in the state. And uh, the first one was in 1978, so these guys weren't even being thought of then. Uh, other questions? Tyler, it seemed like you were able to kind of keep keep your team within striking distance, and then at the end, that just seemed like those two big guys just made the plays. What did you what do you, what did you see down there? Uh, I'll say that uh, they had, they wore us down uh, offensively, backing us down, getting us petty fouls and things like that. That knocked us out of reach and that just helped him win the ball game other questions uh, this can be for either one of the players what did they do defensively that kind of slowed you guys down and kind of got you out of your game uh def defensively they did they also our shot and they take shots that we really don't take instead of just driving the, driving the best balls to the best and they uh, play good, pretty good defense. And we haven't seen that this whole season. Well, Jalen, what's your thoughts? Uh, I just said uh, they were pretty consistent. We uh, kind of gave up coming toward the end a little bit. But we tried our best. I said that come, coming into the fourth quarter, it was good. It was tight. But we just started to slack when we started to um, try to apply a little pressure to it. But we tried our best, though. Other questions, players or coach? Coach, I think one thing was it just seemed like the three ball wasn't going down for you. I think you were two or 15. Yeah, we took some bad shots, took one or two bad shots. And that's that's what happened. When you take one or two bad shots and then you go on the defense end and give up, ease the bass to here, a couple of bass to here, that would get the game out of reach. That would get the game out of reach at the end of the ball game. But I'm proud of my players because – uh, Lynette, normally, I don't think they had nobody play them like that the whole year. They At halftime, they averaging probably like 40 and 50 points a game. Well, Lafayette, their big rival, was probably the closest to them, and Lafayette won the championship three years ago. Right, Lynette. Uh, and, uh, and then the second, third quarter, play had a good quarter, a real good quarter. Beginning of the fourth quarter, it was good. We were right there, right there in the ball game. And like I said, uh, put up a couple of bad shots and got rattled when it got a little wrong and uh, just didn't close the game out. Other questions? Well, Coach, congratulations again on that trophy case getting fuller and fuller. Thank you, thank yes, you, sir. thank, thank you. you.